Hello my wonderful Capricorns, how are you? I hope all is well. Welcome back to Still Vibe In with Carrie. Back with another tarot card reading for my wonderful Capricorns. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, this is a tarot card reading for your love life. Okay, what's coming on around um, the week, the second week of December? I don't even know the date we're on, you guys. The 8th or something? I don't know. I don't even keep track of my days anymore. I'm just like, <laughs> it's time, space, space, time. I think I live in space time now. But anyways, um, Capricorn, I do have like this fun fact for you. You may know this already because I know you guys are very smart, but um, um, your word that you should be using like on the daily is the word achieve. Okay, so in your mantras, use I achieve, um, I achieve all my goals, I achieve greatness, I achieve whatever it is you that you want to accomplish, use the word achieve in your vocabulary and it'll help you tremendously because that's your word, okay? So right off the bat, wow, very, very powerful energy here, okay? Very powerful energy and I'm absolutely loving it because I see things are going to work out in your favor, Capricorn. Okay, with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like you guys have just been through so much, okay? And as Capricorns, you know, Capricorns tend to um, have a rough past, especially like a childhood. Um, you guys just have it hard, okay, Capricorn? And the reason why you have it hard is, you know, it's just your sign. There's nothing wrong with your sign. It's just that you're ruled by Saturn. And what Saturn does is... Saturn just makes things a lot more difficult, okay? Saturn likes you, uh, back of the deck energy, just so you know. Sa Saturn want, wants you to work for things, okay? Saturn wants you to, like, really work for what you have. And that can be why you really like stability, okay? Because I know Capricorns love stability because you're ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is a, the planet of, like, hard work, stability, kind of like... Um, like if you put in the work, like, I don't know, I feel like you guys have to be really hard workers in order to get what you want, you know, in order to feel balanced and, and just at peace within yourself. So Capricorn, um, I'm getting beautiful energy though, overall, even though you've, you've been through this rough past and I know that for sure, because it's just in the stars, it's just who you are and just know that that's what makes you a good person, that's what makes you great, you know, um, knowing that out of all the signs, you guys are ruled by Saturn and Saturn is a tough planet, it really is, but knowing that you guys are ruled by it, so you guys know how to work with it the best is like amazing because a lot of people don't know how to work with Saturn, which is why, you know, they become lazy and whatnot, whatever, but anyways, <laughs> let me get straight into your reading Capricorn. You've been hurt, okay? Basically, karma is here, okay? And she is on your side, okay, baby? She is on your side. She's here to tell you that you're moving in... <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Lump in my throat. Do you, some of you guys have a throat chakra imbalance? You guys need to check out, okay? Uh, meditation on throat chakras imbalance. But anyways... Uh, you're moving into calmer waters, okay? That's what karma wants you to know. That's what the justice represents, okay? She's here to let you know that everything's gonna be okay. And even though, you know, you may be in your emotions about something, about this, um, just in case you guys wanna see it up close, that's a girl getting backstabbed like 10 times, literally. This can, each of these things can be like one thing you're being backstabbed by or that you've been backstabbed by in your past. But it's in your past for a reason. Don't worry about it, okay? Um, karma's here to bring balance into your life. You're going to start to feel a lot better, especially right now around this this um, time. We're in Sagittarius coming up to um, Capricorn, and then there's a huge conjunction with um, Saturn. There's a huge conjunction with Saturn and Jupiter, okay? So that, that I don't know. Look at your own birth, birth chart. Um, look into it, but it can probably really benefit you for some reason I feel like because you are ruled by Saturn and then Saturn is coming really close to um Jupiter so I feel like this might be a really important time for you so really look into that okay that you can benefit from that a lot I think because 
Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth. So I feel like you guys are going to be doing a lot of growing, okay? And maybe this is why karma is coming on your side now, okay? And bringing you into calmer waters. And I see, just so you know, this is a love reading and I'm getting there, okay? Um, but I see nothing but beautiful, stable um, connection with somebody here, okay? This can be a possible Libra, okay? It doesn't have to be. But a possible Libra, possible air, air sign, okay, is what I'm hearing. Because you get swords, a lot of sword energy. Um, that that just may be for some of you. This can be anybody, but there's somebody definitely coming through here that's going to bring you a lot of balance and a lot of clarity. And just a lot, you're going to, I feel like you're going to do, I'm sorry, you're going to connect with this person like on a mental and emotional level. But it's going to be really stable and really um, just really like mature kind of relationship okay that's just what I feel for you and then you get your lover's card might be a Gemini as well because the lovers represents a Gemini um, but I feel like this can be a possible soulmate for you guys okay because you're getting the lovers and then the karma card so it's like karma's coming through saying you know you're gonna you're gonna receive this love because you know you've been hurt so much in the past and you've gone through so much pain in the past that you deserve this okay and then you also get the queen of cups so this wow wow okay queen of cups cancer possible cancer coming through here capricorn but i see like this person is just going to be very very beautiful and you guys are going to have just this beautiful like emotional like connection and uh, wow like this is just and then you guys get the ten of cups and then releasing negativity so this is not going to be anything bad this is going to be something really beautiful okay major wish fulfillment major happiness okay the ten of cups represents happy families okay you see the two the couple with the two kids um i, I feel like this is all just what it's about okay you guys are really releasing this negative energy okay wow this is so beautiful i'm so happy for you capricorn honestly um find the inner strength or um, this could be with a Leo for some of you. I don't know. There's a lot of you listening to this. I know my last Capricorn video got a lot of views, so I'm so thankful for that. Thank you, you guys. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. But um, this, I just feel like it's like something you've been dreaming about. And like you guys, uh, you guys, I know you guys have gone through a rough past for sure. Okay, a rough past is what I hear. Maybe you guys are going through something right now at the moment with, with a negative person. And it may, it may have you feeling guarded. Okay, but at the end of the day, just know um, there's going to be reunions and there's going to be this big union coming to you, okay? It could be from somebody from your past, but it, it can also be somebody new. We're going to find out, okay? So let's go ahead and see what this is all about because this is beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and see. <laughs> so Capricorn, Capricorn angels come through. What's this? beautiful reunion about like what is this lover's card this happy families queen of cups energy what's going on for our fellow capricorns here spirit come through let us know let us know let us know perfect i'm gonna pull a couple more sorry it took me a while to upload a video you guys it's just i've been having like technical difficulties uploading for some reason it's like my computer said you're not uploading today i'm sorry and it just kind of sucked but um oh past life relationship okay so like i said this may be somebody from your past coming back into your life okay for some of you don't worry for some of you this is this can be brand new free yourself or i feel like you guys need to free yourself from a past life relationship that you guys are still kind of holding on to that's probably making you feel really um hurt still at the moment okay just know you have nothing but beautiful energy coming your way capricorn free yourself it is time to take control of your life and then you get trust so there may be some trust issues or this this relationship you had with this person i feel like there was a lot of trust issues involved um your situation is calling for you to have faith However, Spirit is here to tell you that you just need to have faith in, in what's going on, okay? Everything's divinely guided and divinely timed because you see this angel behind the lovers. Your relationship and your love life is literally being guided, okay? It is. 
that's why um that's why it's happening the way it is okay it's not there's n there's no coincidences so i'm just gonna put that over here and then finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now yeah as a capricorn i feel like you guys are always like you know got your mind on your money it's because you guys you guys like that st um that stability so that can be something you're just focused on at the moment or that you need to focus on right now you get this in the reverse so it says heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so if for some of you if I'm, I'm hearing that if you guys are having issues with your partner okay um just know everything's gonna be okay because you guys have this ten of um, wands so if you guys have um this can be a marriage this can be somebody that has kids with somebody you know kids involved or whatnot but um this is i feel okay slow down carrie let me really make this clear for you guys sorry so what i'm trying to say is if you guys have been having problems with your partner about finances um you guys just need to have faith that everything's gonna work out just fine okay everything's gonna be okay all you need to do sometimes is just talk it out with your partner I don't mean to make your video really long Capricorn but I always feel like I have a lot to say and now I'm gonna pull out some cards from Miss Moon to see what the moon has to say see if there's any advice we can get see if we can find out um, for our single Capricorns to see who this lovers card is about or you know just more advice more clarity on this reading What's this lover's card about, please? Okay. So you're very close to achieving your goal. That's beautiful. Okay. So this is coming to you very, very soon is what I'm hearing. Okay. To those of you who are wondering. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull out another one. More advice for our fellow Capricorns, please. What's going on in their love life? What should they know? Um... Give us, some, give us some advice, Miss Moon. Let us know. Give us the tea. Okay. One more card. Perfect. It's like when I ask for the card, it pops out. But if I keep shuffling, it's like, you're not ready. You're not ready. <laughs> I don't know. Surrender to the divine. So yeah, this has to do with trust. Okay, you guys need to trust that everything's going to be okay. Let everything go. Let the control go. Let um, your worries go. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. And literally, as soon as you start doing this, you're gonna be okay okay there was a point in my life just really quick when i was like struggling really really hard and as soon as i just said you know what oh well i don't even care at this point if i just go broke tomorrow i know i'm gonna be okay and literally as soon as i did that my life changed it honestly changed for the better just so you know but here let me get you some advice from the universe um <clears throat> the universe you know let us know what is going on with Capricorn and what advice you have to give them to make them feel better and just more balanced and at peace. Okay, what can bring Capricorn more stability in the current moment? I like when my cards fall out. <laughs> I feel like it just gives it that more of a clarity i feel like it's this one gratitude okay so showing gratitude in the present moment for everything you have appreciate the present blessings so once you do this you start to attract more blessings into your life and then i'm gonna pull out one from your self-care what self-care tips do we have for capricorn today spirit what self-care tips do we have for Capricorn? Dance. This is beautiful. Does some of you guys like to dance? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Clear your energy field. Okay, so you get danced. And use sage palo santo or whatever it is you need to literally clear your energy okay clear your home clear that shit now is what i'm hearing <laughs> okay so capricorn 
what should I do for you? I want to do one more thing for you. I know my video is getting a little bit long, but you guys can bear with me just another minute. Um, I'm going to pull some Spark of Balance. Because you guys got the Libra, I mean the Justice card here. So I need a Spark of Balance. Oh, we got some mixed up in here. I'm sorry. Hold up. Okay, there we go. Sparks of Balance for my fellow Capricorns, please. Perfect. So it says, enjoy a special meal alone without any distractions. <laughs> Are you probably going to like this one? I don't know. You probably won't like this one, maybe. Because I feel like you guys like to... Okay, so this is do nothing. So literally, just do nothing. <laughs> and I'm going to show you this, okay? The back of the deck energy for this. Stillness. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, lack of movement. So it's like you guys just need to like just do nothing. Literally just stop. Just freeze. Like right now. Don't do nothing. <laughs> Reset your day by choosing a new higher purpose. So yeah, I don't know. I'll leave that there. You guys know. Okay, follow your intuition with that one. A higher purpose. I don't know. I'm going to pull out one more for you. Contemplate an area in which you believe you're personally progressing. So this may have to be with something that you know you're good at, okay, and that you're getting better at, okay? Uh, reset your day by choosing a new higher purpose. Maybe something you're getting better at. Maybe there's something else you guys need to do in your life besides what you're currently doing and you know what that is. All right, Capricorn, this video is way too long, but I enjoyed giving you your reading today. It was like, I don't know, I really liked it. I really hope you guys did too and I really hope you guys resonated with this. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.